Hello everyone, Shadefire here, and today we're taking a first impressions look at another Half-Life 1 mod. This is They Hunger, a uh, originally episodic mod, released in three episodes, that actually looks pretty interesting. Sadly, still no custom title screen, but that seems to be the kind of common thing for Half-Life mods. Billy Mays Remembrance Foundation Radio. to BMRF Radio. We interrupt this program to bring you special news report. Unknown atmospheric phenomena have been reported throughout the area. Meteorologists have been unable to identify the source of the strange electrical displays, but we will keep you informed of any developments. We're turning out our regular programming. Made by PC Gamer? Weird. I wonder if they're still around. Or at least still around in print. I'm pretty sure the website still exists. Didn't know this was a head crab crossing. This game promises zombies, uh, ghosts, and other monsters of the imagination. If I remember the description correctly. Something weird about that car model, though. It kind of looks like a retextured Hummer. I will say this is the longest cutscene I've seen in a Half-Life mod. And this is where we come in. Yes. Alright, we were just driving around and then, uh, some freak lightning electrical disturbance hit us. Well, we can definitely break those if we had something to break them with. But I guess we don't need to break them.
this program to bring you a special news bulletin. Several reports of strange happenings in the local countryside have been received here at the radio station. Sheriff Chester Rock would insist that such reports are just hearsay and rumors, likely spread out by his rivals in an attempt to undermine his positions in the upcoming elections. Rumors or not, some of these reports are very disturbing, and until they can be dismissed, we are advising people to be cautious and stay indoors. We now return you to our previous broadcast. Probably take this saw with us. That looks no! Similar. No! No! Get it off me! Get it off! Get it off! I was gonna say somebody who's alive, but he does not seem to be alive anymore. Good thing we got this umbrella. Must be a pretty sturdy umbrella. Ah. He disappeared, I couldn't splatter him. Guess we're going up. Ah, skull head crabs. Well, at least they have custom models for everything, which is nice. Always a sign that there's some bit of work put into a game. Not sure why a guy in a belfry had a silenced pistol, but whatever. Well, now where to? Back outside, I guess? We did see that secondary path. The dead are rising. Luckily, I've covered wars, you know. Ah, we got weird auto lock on. Can I turn that off? There we go. Oh, I took the silencer off. <laughs> Shit. I didn't mean to get murdered there. Alright, and we're back. Man, there are a lot of zombies here. A lot of damage, 20 per swing. Make 
Again, these are just reskinned headcrab zombies, but at least they have their own dialogue and everything. And they look completely different. Oh, I just ran up that guy's head. I think that's all the zombies around here, but where do we have to go? Was I not supposed to fall off up there? Or am I trying to get back onto the bridge that I came from? Back into the catacombs where we have all those breakable walls. What are you? Come to mommy. Lady zombie. Left for Dead horde sound that keeps playing. <laughs> Pistol ammo would be nice. Health. Surprise. It's gonna be a lot of zombies in these catacombs. Sure, where we're supposed to be going though. I can just keep backtracking. Some pistol ammo, that's nice. Mm -hmm. 
didn't even notice that there was a locked door there. But I guess that's why we came back this way. Oh, that probably would have killed us right there. He has no head. Fish. Is it going to attack me? These fish do not look aggressive. It's good because everything else around here wants us dead. Oh jeez. Wet zombies. If I can get them to come over here, I can just swim past them. chest back there. Someone's having a bad day. The title of the game says, They Hunger. I guess that radio station only plays one song over and over again. I hope the whole game isn't just catacombs. Oh, that's explosive. We don't want to hit that. But we do want to shoot it. Yeah. <laughs> 
Half-Life one of the first games to have locational damage? Wait a minute. Did we just go in a fucking circle? I must have missed something back here. That's definitely new over there, because there's a car. Oof. Oh, thank god you're normal. You know what those things outside are? Probably zombies. Wait, I think I hear a vehicle coming. Blah, thank blah, god, we're being rescued. Blah. Zombie drivers just bail out. Oh, the car's locked. Guess we'll have to walk. It's hoping for more than just zombies in this video. This is space coming in at two levels. A zombie with a gun. to go another step. Well, he just drowned himself in shit. That's a shitty way to go. <laughs> Jesus. Why did that explode? That definitely did not have an explosive symbol on our all the way back here. I did actually find a shotgun this time. <laughs> on the path next to the police car. And then I died again. So I guess, uh, watch out for the exploding box. Maybe it was an ammo box or something. <laughs> you must try to contact the authorities. <laughs> and the roads are cut off. There's a radio station in town. If you can find your way there, maybe you could radio for help. The police all turned into... <laughs> Why would you put an enemy in the loading transition? Uh. All right, now we're in a swamp. Tree 
barnacles. Well, damn. Still, I think that's a pretty good look at the hunger. It's uh, fairly well done for a Half-Life mod. Definitely wasn't made in the early days. And uh, yeah, curious to see where this goes. Anyhow, that'll do it for They Hunger. I've been Shadefire, and I'll see you around in some other apocalypse.